What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to warp faces or warp video like uh, you'll probably see going on about now. Do I look pretty? <laughs> right, let's get into showing you how to do it. So jumping onto the computer here guys, I've already imported my media, as you can see at the top, which you would have just seen. I'm going to drag this straight onto the timeline here, I'm going to click yes, and then I'm just going to cut off the unwanted part of the clip at the beginning, and this little bit at the end here. So this middle part is the part where I want the warping face to happen. Um, bearing in mind you can also warp anything, it doesn't have to be a face, but I thought a face would be a good example to show this feature off, as you usually see quite a lot of YouTubers using this effect, either on themselves or other people, or just random videos. So I've just cut out this clip here using the S key, so we've got this little part that we're going to use the warp on. And click in the event FX, there's actually a few different effects which you can use to do the warping. The ones I tend to use are the sphere eyes and swirl. So I'm just going to click on the sphere eyes, we're going to start with this, and as you can see it already blew it up my face. Now this is a super easy tool to use, this little cross that you get on the preview window will basically show where the effect's going to be centred. So I'm going to put it right on my forehead here. Now what I'm going to actually want to happen is the warp to slowly kind of come in and then disappear. So I'm going to click this little anime icon next to the amount option. We'll get this little timeline at the bottom here. And because I want it to start off at zero, I'm just going to choose zero for now. And then I'm going to click on the sync cursor to media timeline button here. This will just sync the two cursors up. And then if I scroll to maybe, let's say, here, just a few seconds into the clip, or, well, not a few seconds, but a little bit into the clip, I'm then going to increase the warp. And then moving over to the end here, I'm going to create a keyframe. So this is going to be where the animation or sorry the warp starts to kind of fade away and then moving to the very end of the clip I'll create another keyframe and I'm gonna set the amount back down to zero so now if we play the clip from the beginning oh. you can see my head expand drastically and then it will shrink again Do I now I'm gonna add my second effect which is the swirl add okay now this one's a little bit different, you can still animate though just by clicking down here. And we can see that at the beginning of the clip it is really, 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 really spherized. So I'm going to turn this to zero just by typing it in the box at the top. And then I'm going to go to this keyframe here again, just where the warp got to its strongest. And I'm going to increase the swirl just a little bit. I'd say that's that's pretty good there. Um, then moving on to this keyframe here where the warp starts to fade away, I'm going to actually change the amount to a negative. This will basically mean throughout this clip the warp will slowly change. And then the very last keyframe at the very end here, I'm going to set the amount back to zero. And then if we play from the beginning, about now. you can see this looks incredible. But you can add a lot of these effects on top of each other. You can have multiple sphere eyes effects and multiple swirl effects to get your desired warp. Have a mess around, have some fun, enjoy what you're doing with your warped faces, because it's, uh, it's a very pretty sight. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. So if the tutorial helped, then remember to like the video. Also, if you want to see more Vegas Pro tutorials, then subscribe to my channel. Also, suggest any tutorials you would like to see in the description below. What? I mean in the comments below. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you do want to see any tutorials, just comment down below what you would like to see. And that is going to be it. So I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make, guys. Bye.